Hi y'all, this is Kim with Fatty Patty Scrapper. I have another DT share for you. Okay, so I just love doing this. Okay, so this DT project is for Scrap Perfect and Saw Crafters. And this is a cute little mini album that I made. Um, this is a mini file folder album. And there's no traditional hard cover. Um, this is kind of like a heavy duty um, file folder. And um, I got these for my mom. She gave them to me. <laughs> these little file folders. I was like, oh my gosh. Okay, so the tutorial for making this um, came from my, my swap partner in mini album swaps and more, Julie. And um, also she has a Facebook store um, and she sells, um, some beads and laces and, um, flowers and all sorts of cutesy wootsy stuff, um, beading and I mean, just tons and tons of stuff. So anyway, you'll definitely have to check out her Facebook, um, page and I will put a link down below for that. Um, and also I will put down, of course, my links for Scrap Perfect and, um, for saw crafters. So, um, oh, and of course for this little um, thing. Now I only watched the first portion of it. Um, so mine is not probably exactly like hers. Um, I really had to change up the measurements a lot for me because um, I was not using a legal size folder, but I kind of used the gist of how she put it together. Um, so, um, there are three videos to it, but I only watched one. So, um, anywho, let me just go on and start with this. So, first of all, this paper is by Marion Smith Designs and it's called Motley. And I am absolutely in love with this paper. It is too stinking cute. Um, I will definitely, um, at the end, kind of go through page by page of how they look. Um, but, of course, you'll get the idea in here. Um, so first of all, these little wooden embellies right here are from Saw Crafters. Um, Saw makes these absolutely gorgeous, cute chipboard and wooden bellies, and she makes a lot of, um, supplies for, um, holding your, um, utensils and stuff like that. Like, um, I have this cute little thing right here that, um, I hold my iPhone in, or you can use it for any... Um, phone actually and so you can video with it standing still and you don't have to hold it isn't that awesome like I totally love that idea um, this one I didn't decorate um, because it's just for me so I was like well you know I'll just leave it plain but um, she has all sorts of other creative ideas storage stuff um, she has cute little doll houses just everything you can imagine. She has thousands of items in her store, so you'll definitely have to go in there and get crazy. Um, the rest of, um, a lot of the ephemera in here and some of the little gems and stuff I got from um, Alter Junkie. Um, she was doing a D-Stash sale um, a couple months, uh, maybe about a month or so back. And um, so I ordered um, one of her little uh, piles of D-Stash and, and it was a lot of cute little ephemera stuff. So um, I put that in here. So with this story, um, uh, Wooden Belly, I basically painted it, no, I'm sorry, I didn't paint it black. I used just regular black um, ink. And um, then over it, I used a little bit of um, gesso kind of give it that um, black and white distress look and I wanted it to look like that because of um, these little pages um, these little ephemera pieces are from the Nirvana collection too also by Marion Smith so it's kind of like a little hybrid album or shall I call it tribrid <laughs> because I even have some um, of the papers that Alter Junkie gave to me. So here we are. Um, first of all, right here I use this lace um, that I got from the Vintage Antique, antique Store. I can't even talk to you. Blah. Oh my God, Antique Store. Okay, anyway, the Antique Store. Um, now this little beading right here, this is from Julie and her store. 
and I think it's called Sassy Selections. Um, this right here is just one of the buttons from um, that ephemera pack that I got. Um, these, this flower right here is from Julie's store. Um, and this is just kind of like a little spool and I wrap some thread around it. Right here, this is from um, Saw Crafter Store. And this is a beautiful little corset. I painted that with Americana chalk paint. Um, the color is vintage. And then of course I distressed around it with um, black ink. This right here again is from, um, like I said, um, so I'm not gonna mention it again after this, but basically a lot of these ephemeral pieces I got from, um, you know, this, this, the D-Stash stuff that I bought. Um, now, the best part of this was, is that all these little pieces and all the little diamonds and gems, I used the best glue ever by Scrap Perfect. And um, so I have had this for, I don't know, like a month now. And so I'm gonna like pack it down, but anyway. So this is the best glue ever. Let me see if you can see that. Love this stuff. I cannot live without this. Okay, so every single page in here um, I used this glue, okay? So, uh, the only thing I did not do was, uh, with the glue, was, um, when I attached the pages together, the file folders, excuse me, not the pages, the file folders, um, I used score tape, and that's from, um, Tammy Store Country Crap Creations. Um, here we go, here's my little vintage lace binding, so... Um, on my first page, um, this is again, paper from, um, the Motley collection. And then I just kind of distressed ink this little bird. And then, um, I use my glue to put all these down on here. The best glue ever. Um, oh, and this is another thing that I just love about the best glue ever. So I'm going to point this out because look at how awesome that is. See how pretty that is. Now. I'm gonna explain this to you. So on here, it doesn't come with this. You have to buy this separately. And in fact, I don't even think she has these for sale in regular stores. So she does not give this to her wholesaler. So you have to actually go to her store to buy this. I would pick up, oh, excuse me, I got like glue stuck on here, I don't know. I must have been messy. Anyway, normally it doesn't look like that. Um, see this little fine tip pen? It comes with this little cap to go on your glue. Um, and then she has another size for glossy accents. I don't even remember what size it is, but, um, or any other type of, you know, glue or, um, gels you use. And this is a writing tip, but I like to do it for a lot of this fine detail. And so I just sparingly, sparingly, and I mean sparingly, you know, you'll probably have to go through what I did. It was, um, trial and error you know if you use too much glue of course and anything you use too much of it's going to go crazy and you really don't need to do that you just don't you don't need to go crazy with this glue because it works great the smaller amount you use the better it works so i mean isn't that awesome so i love that so then i used um, some embossing powder and um, i just sprinkled it on top i didn't even use any heat it's on there perfectly, just fine. Um, it's not, you know, coming off or whatever. Oh, and I forgot to mention my crafting pouch. Okay, so this is also from Scrap Perfect. And this is a absolute must if you are gonna do this. Okay, so basically you take your little pad, your pouch out. Now I was keeping the little plastic thing to store it because it kind of has like some powder in here. I don't know what it is, but Anyway, um, so you wipe the page down first or the area that you're going to use the glue and your glitter. So you just wipe it um, down once. That's all you got to do. Go ahead and glue, sprinkle on your glitter, and then just, you know, I basically just kind of go like this. And it all bounces into my hands and then there's not glitter all over the stinking place. So this is why you have to have the perfect pouch. Love this. Isn't it too cute? She literally has a lady hand make these. I totally love that. I love when anything is made in the USA. I totally believe in 
um, USA stores. So a lot of my products you will see that I use are from there. Um, now, let me go back to my jabbering. <laughs> okay, so I didn't put any piece under here, but you can put some ephemera underneath here or any journaling tags or, you know, tuck a photo in there. Um, and here, this is from Nirvana. This is um, just a little tag that I used and it fit perfectly in there. And I just loved it. And here, oh, I forgot to mention. This little thing right here um, came from, and I think I used it on my Nirvana album. Um, it was just one of those things that, uh, I don't know why I'm having such a brain fart. I don't know. I think it was by Sizzix. No, Spellbinders, my bad. Okay, so this is it. Spellbinders Shape Abilities number seven. And so it had all these little cute things in here and I just love this vintage design. Um, so I used it. Okay, so here we are on page three. Um, again, um, just some vintage birdhouse. I glued this down with the best glue ever. Um, again, some of the Motley paper along with my little gemstones. And here on my cute little tag, I used the We Are Memories Keepers um, ticket stub. Oh wait, no, that's not it. I don't know why I always pull out the wrong one every time. But yeah, so on one side it says stub, on the other side it says deco. And um, I love these because they have two sides to them. Um, this came from a Cricut. I distressed, oh, I forgot to mention this. Okay, so when I first did my file folders, I was like, okay, I really want to do something different. Um, so I went ahead and I used um, a lot of my shimmers um, sprays and I just kind of went crazy. And then I um, did dry them a little bit with a heat gun, but then for the rest, I just let it dry by itself. Um, here, this little, um, bird it's a little chipboard bird piece and I painted it gold and then you can just like you know put a little picture or tag or whatever you want to do right there here now this is not from Motley or Nirvana collection again this was some of the ephemera paper that I got from that um, stack uh, stash from Alter Junkie um, again another one of Julie's flowers um, and then these are just from like your local craft store, you know, no biggie deal on those. Oh goodness. I should have burned the edges on this. My bad. I'll have to do that before I send it off. Okay. Um, and then here I have a little belly band with some of the vintage lace that I bought. Um, again, this was from the ephemera pack that I got. And then we have another Nirvana and it says dream big. And then this one, oh, and I forgot to say that I um, did poke these holes in it and put an eyelet. And on the back of these, um, I distressed them also with the, the sprays. And then I went back over it with gesso to give it that um, uh, white look in order to be able to write in where you can see what you're writing. So you could use any color pen or pencil or marker or whatever you use to do your journaling. So you can like tuck some photos in there. And then we have another pullout. This is another tag from the Nirvana. Isn't that so beautiful? I love balloons. Hot air balloons are my favorite. Okay. Then here, um, this is a little memory sticker. Um, and then around here, oh, I forgot to mention, all the base pages are distressed inked with pink raspberry along with the edges here of all this. And then um, some of the ephemera was um, distressed ink with black um, or Tim Holtz um, walnut stain. So we have a little um, butterfly clip. And then um, I will give you the link to this um, place where I purchase these little ephemera cards and then here's another one 
I was going to make my own ephemera cards, but I was running out of time. I'm already behind on this. This was supposed to be out on the 1st, and we're already on what, the 11th, so, whoops, you know, I better get this going. Um, Nirvana Motley. Um, again, just some vintage paper that's not part of the Motley collection. Um, another ephemera piece. I love this key right here from Saw Crafters. Isn't this too cute? I love clock keys. So cute. So with, what I did with this one, again, I used that Americana um, vintage chalk paint. Then I um, used my um, black um, distress ink, went around it, and then I used some, um, this is so old, I don't even know if they even sell this whatever this, whoever this company is, but it's like a gold metallic paint. Um, and then here's a little chalkboard, um, sticker that I end up having to glue on some more with the, the scrap perfect. So this does not come up now. <laughs> Isn't that awesome? And then another one of Julie's flowers from her collection of stuff she sells. Isn't this too cute? I love this little tag from Nirvana and then just flip it over. To the next page and again just from the stash here we go um another type of um ephemera pack um digital kit pack that i purchased um and here's the same these are two different companies though i hope i'm like I'm not going too crazy let me see if you can see this better yeah there we go um and then Move that out of the way. Okay, so I have right here this little sticker that says Cherish. And then I just have two um, pull out tags. This one is from Nirvana, and this one is from Motley. These are both from Mo oh no, this is from Motley, and then this is from Stash. This is from my Stash. Um, I did use a glue gun to glue this down because there was like a pop up sticker on it. And I don't trust them. I'm just letting you know that right now. I do not trust pop-up stickers. Then again, with my best glue ever, we did this right here. And don't forget about using your crafting pouch. Um, although this is not glitter, um, it just kind of makes things easier to put them down. Oh, and here, there's another pull-out tag. Love it. Okay, I think that these are so stinking cute. Do you see this? This is a little hanger from Sawcrafter. Excuse my nails. I had some like fake nails put on and I just ripped them off. I couldn't handle it. <laughs> I can't craft with fake nails on. I don't know how some of y'all do that. Um, but anyway, I just can't do it. Um, so what I did with this right here, all I did was I just took a little bit of the black distress um, ink and a little bit of the walnut stain and just went around it. And I just, um, oh, and this is the like cutest part. So. Saw showed me this once um, because what kept happening was as soon as I would glue it down, um, I couldn't get the piece of paper underneath it. So what she does is she puts the piece of paper down and then she sticks it on top so that um, it leaves a little bit of space there. Now, I never realized that was so important, but apparently it is because I wasn't able to get my papers underneath there, you know, easily. Now I can, so it's awesome, just love it. And then I just love this little journaling page that's from Motley. Um, so she has two different pages, or she can put a picture in there, either way. Um, I think this again is from Nirvana. And all I did, oh, no. I'm sorry, this is from Motley. Only way I can tell is these little beautiful flowers on the back. Um, and then this is just a paper clip from my stash. Um, I glued these down, just this little ephemera piece, um, with the best glue ever. And, um, here's my laces too. And then here's a little button. And then again from Julie's store. And I just tuck it in there. Now, okay, they don't normally look this squishy, but, um, I have this big issue where every time I make an album, I make them like, you know, like chubby albums. I love making little fat chubby albums. I love loading it with ephemera. I love loading it with embellies. 
I love just putting all sorts of stuff in it because it makes it interesting to look at and, you know, just kind of fun. Um, here on this back page, um, just another um, page of the motley with the beautiful flowers. I call them cabbage roses. I don't know if that's really what they are, but they look like that. Oh, and I know that Marion has a tutorial on her website on how to make these little cabbage flowers, but I would just love to know what she used to, um, uh, what flower, um, you know, die cut she used. I don't know if it was something that she sells or what, but I'm like, I gotta have them. I absolutely love it. And, um, anyway, I just wanted to show this or share this with y'all before I send it off. It's got to go today. I finished it this morning and I want to get this out to her because I'm already like, you know, 11 days late on this. So I feel really bad. <laughs> So anyway, Julie, thank you for being so patient and y'all have a wonderful and awesome day. Bye. Mwah. Oh, and if you have any questions, please feel free to ask. Bye.